stage of your life where you get to be fulfilled, contented, not wanting, especially not depending on the person sex. You come to a place in your life where you're fulfilling yourself, you are happy, you're complete. It is called being single. It is not a word that describes a person who is lonely and craving, but it describes somebody who is living and enjoying life without depending on other people. Welcome to this edition of Renek A Show. I am your girl Renek Ayuk. And today we will be talking about being single and fulfilled, pursuing your dreams without depending on other person, especially when looking at the woman. Because usually in the society, the society tells us that the woman has to depend on a man to have a fulfilled life and to earn a living. But today it's different. We'll take you through the life of someone really special after this break. Go nowhere. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, it is Renate A Show, and we are talking about living a single life and being fulfilled in the society. Is it actually possible to live without a man in your life and be fulfilled and not wanting and not you know feeling the need for somebody to fulfill your desires, your needs, and your emotions? It is actually very possible. And our guest for today is nobody else but the very talented actress Solange Hijika. You're welcome. Thank you, Renee. And I must say that Solange is not just an actress, she is an administrator. Yeah, it's her profession. Yeah. And by training. <laughs> by training and administrator. Okay. Um, by passion and actress. Yes. By passion still, um, I I run a not-for-profit organization. Okay. Uh -huh. I found I found it. I run it. What the name? Live stream. All right. Yeah. Actually, we are. Focus on this part of my life, what we talk about. Today. Okay, single okay. mothers. Okay, yes. Yeah, so. Okay, now you're welcome to our show. Thank you. So, how, how long have you been single? That's it. As long as ever. Like, <laughs> when was the last time you had a relationship? Okay, um, about uh, how many years ago? Oh, that's, that should be a long time. I can't remember, but I've been single for quite a while. Quite a while. So, how does it feel? Like, how's the life? Being alone, not even somebody. How does it feel? It's fulfilling, you know. You just have to get to that place when you, where you accept everything in life comes with acceptance. Yes. Okay. If you accept a phase of your life and um, make it quite fulfilling for yourself, you know, you will get through that phase without regretting anything. That's right. Yeah. Most of uh, my comrades, permit me. Most of my comrades feel um, lonely. Because they don't accept the face. Okay. Yeah, it's just the face. So it's very important. It's, it's not a state. It's not, not at all. It's not a state. It's not like you're lonely, but it's actually a phase of self-discovery. We can say exactly. Of self-examination. Exactly. Looking into your life and actually knowing what God had purpose for you, so you can actually mm -hmm. pursue your dreams. Mm -hmm. So are you trying to say that there are no men coming around or what? <laughs> Because you're, you're, you're in the entertainment industry, oh, yes. you're an actress, and I've watched you, you know, so many movies. You go on this red carpet. Um, How has it been with all of male actors? Uh, male actors know their colleagues. Okay, okay. And they don't know for for yeah, male actors know at all. At all. I've not had them. Maybe um, they wanted to, <clears throat> but I have the way I relate with them that we stay professional. Yeah, okay. For the other brothers, <laughs> everyone is free to come. Yes. But I am not free to accept everyone, you see. So it comes with um, the way you manage what you want in life, you know. Yes. And I don't think that right now, even if I want it, I've not found the right person. Okay. Yeah. So oh, I, cannot, I cannot settle for just anything or anyone. Okay. That's very, very important. So you've not yet seen the right person. And that's very, very important. You actually have to get to that point of your life where you not just accept anybody just because you want to leave mm -hmm. from being single. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure that the person is the right person for you. Mm -hmm. For you, rather. So it, it is very fine. You know, in what, what, what we are, we realize that on Facebook we have about 2,000 followers also. Mm -hmm. So how do you manage your, your relationship with them? How do you keep up with your followers and your friends? What's your relationship with them? What do I really do? First, I must establish the fact that I'm really struggling with social media, alright? Okay. It's it's not my thing. I am there because there are people 
than me to hear from me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I try as much as possible to get in touch with those who get me as often as I can. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, I try to keep it light. By light, I mean um, I don't make it a part of me, you know. I don't make it an obligation. No, no, no. Otherwise, you know how people get drowned in social media yeah, nowadays? No, no, no. I really try to balance. So it's a bit cordial. Really? Okay. Thank you so much. Stay tuned to Run and A Show. We'll be right back after this break. First thing I would like you to know is that being single is not a punishment. It is not a curse. Being single is a blessing. It is a great time of your life. In fact, most of the greatest achievers in the world uh, were singles when they made their biggest discoveries, when they read the most books. So singlehood or this time of your life when you are alone and when you have no uh, obligation to give accounts to, to your partner for uh, why you're coming back home at this time or and then uh, kids that you have to take care of this is a unique opportunity for your life for any single person to develop themselves uh, beyond what they could ever achieve when they already have a partner a partner and uh, with children so singlehood the purpose of being single is to build yourself this is the time for you to develop yourself you know, as a single, I could read many books, hundreds of books. As a single, there are things that, that there's a, an amount of investment that I made upon my life. And, well, I'm not talking about me, but I'm talking about a lot of the people that you know of that have been great achievers in, in, in the world. The purpose of singleness. In fact, there is a great uh, thinker who said, when your eye is single, your entire body shall be enlightened. What he meant by that is that whenever you have singleness of purpose, whenever you, you, you can look in one direction and not be distracted by another person next to you, he says your entire life will be enlightened. It is during those single times that you can study all night, that you can read the books you will never have time to read again when you get married. You see, so being single is, is, is very key. It's very crucial. And unfortunately, most people today uh, neglect and abuse this period of their life. The time that you're single is not a punishment, it is not a curse, it is the moment for you to build yourself into a better person, into that person that tomorrow will make a difference even in a married home. So uh, use your, your time, your years as a single person. Uh, I think it is no wonder that even some of the greatest men in history chose to remain single. Well, uh, marriage is good. I am married, been, been married for nine years, but marriage is good. But there is something unique about being single that if you miss it, you might never get it again. So my advice to every single person listening to me is, hey, forget about the TV, forget about all the distractions. This is the time for you to invest. Read some business books. Try some things, go into some ventures. When you're still single, the cost of failing is lower because you don't have a child to feed, you don't have a wife to feed, you don't have a husband to, to, to feed. The cost of failure when you're still single is lower. So being single is for what? It is for building yourself, for educating yourself, and it's for launching yourself. You see, most people, now, I don't know if you like the Bible, but I like the Bible. And there was something I learned from being single in the Bible. When God, gave the, when God created the first man, before he gave him a wife, he gave him work to do. So singlehood is that period of your life when you need to learn how to work, when you need to launch that business, that vision, when you need to start that project, because you can fail. And even if you fail, you, you can get up, you can wake up. There will be nobody crying, you know, uh, over your failure at night except for you, you know, and you can just pick yourself up and, and move to the next level. So being single is a blessing. Never look at it as a curse. And I may conclude by saying that a lot of you single people who believe that being single is a problem hurriedly get into some bad relationships. When you think that being a single is a problem, you get into some bad relationships. When you believe that being a single, that being single is, a, is an issue, 
I'm 30 years old and I, and I have nobody. I don't have a fiance. I'm not married. If you begin to believe it's a problem, you'll probably run into some very bad relationships. And then, I, and then some of you who are younger, uh, uh, high school students, don't be afraid of being single. Don't be ashamed of being single. You're a university student. Don't be ashamed of being single. It is a blessing. It, I'm telling you, it is a blessing to be single. While you're single, build yourself. Try some things. Hone your skills. Develop your dreams. Begin to write them down. Begin to try some businesses. And uh, I am sure your, your husband tomorrow, your wife tomorrow, your kids tomorrow will be very glad that you built yourself before they came into your life. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, it is Renet A Show, and we've been talking about the importance of being alone. Can you be alone and be fulfilled, live a fulfilled life, not depending on somebody, especially the female sex? You know, sometimes some professions actually put you at a tight spot where you have no choice than being alone, especially in the entertainment industry. But this is somebody who's not just been pushed by the profession. It's a choice, a decision, and a state in her life that she's chosen so that to be alone. You know, in one of your Facebook posts, let me quote it because I follow you a lot. So it said, the woman you are is good enough, except you deem it necessary to improve on her. Do you mean that a man come into your life shouldn't try to change your thought? Why would you want to change for someone, Renata? Why do you want to do that? I, I, I mean, why do you want to get into someone else's skin? Okay. Is your skin bad? Are you uncomfortable with who you are? Tell us. You know, so I, my philosophy on all of this is, can you please take me as I am? Please. If you're not taking me as I am, okay, I know that we have to train some things, right? But there should not be major things as wanting to change my, origi my original person. No, that is not allowed. I guess <laughs> that's one of the reasons why I'm still the way I am. So you take me as I am, or we don't get into it. Okay, so if a man comes today and he's actually the man you've been waiting for, you see him, he has everything you want in a man, and he tells you, so Lange, I want you to quit acting, just be my wife. What would you do? I've had a lot of people ask me this away from camera and okay. I had a lot of people, you know, tease me. Mm -hmm. And what I usually say is, I'm going to remain this person. No matter who you are. You know why? Because I'll not be fulfilled. I would have given up a very important part of myself. Okay? And what would I tell my maker when I get to the other side? That I leave my life for someone else? No. No, no, no. I, I don't think so. Listen. You ask me what I'll do, I'll tell you no. <laughs> because if because you, want, a lot of, a you, know, lot you, you may want to know, sorry to cut you, you may want to know that some people have come and taken me for who I am, okay? Other things didn't work, that's fine. But not the major things in my life. You, do, you don't come for me that, okay? And, yeah. that's, and that's your passion. There's no going back on that. And it, it, is, it is not just my passion, it is a kind of, for me, say, quote unquote, ministry. Mm -hmm. That's where I, 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 I translate my, my inner thoughts, my emotions. That's why I don't settle for any kind of role. Oh. Because I, 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 I carry messages in the inside of me. And, and those messages I translate to the characters okay. that I portray or the characters that I act. Oh. Now, mentioning that, how do you relate your life on set? In your everyday life, because talking now, I'm just like, oh, she's, she's, she's acting. Oh, no. Now, has it ever occurred to you where people do not believe you for who you are because they think that you're an actress? So it's difficult to relate with them. How does that affect your relationship? Whereas with your colleagues at the office, with your family, yeah, with some, you know, my family, everything, everybody knows that me and every character are different people. Now, people who don't understand the dynamics of acting, who don't understand what it is all about judge me on my characters and, and I have this struggle especially in our society because I don't want to say it is new but people are not very warm on it you know they don't accept us like they accept other actors and actresses they place a lot of um, tags on us they question us a lot you know they, 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 they merge our characters and our real persons a lot so they don't believe 
it's, I, I have a lot of struggle with that, but I'm sure with time, I don't know how much time, but with time, people will get to understand that. For example, Jasmine in expression okay. is different from Solange Jika in my office. Okay. It's different from Solange Jika the mom. All right, you know, okay. That's very important. Thank you so much. We'll be right back after the break then. We have a surprise for you. Go nowhere. It is raining. A show. Keep watching. We have a very big surprise. We'll be right back. You remember I told you we had a surprise for you. This is it now. So I know it's coming to you for the first time. My hair. This is it for our audience. What is that thing about you that nobody knows about? You've never talked about in public. A lot of people do not know that this single girl is a single mom. Of how many? Two. Oh, teens. Oh. So I had kids a long time, time ago. ago. Yeah. How did it happen? Well, <laughs> how did it happen, Renata? Please. Okay. I'm here. I, I'm ready to say it. Um, their dad and I were planning to get married. Mm, it's true. I took the second step before the first. Okay. The little mistakes. That was a grave one, though. The mistakes we make in life. But... <laughs> it's gone. Okay. It didn't work. It didn't work. No one's to blame. Okay. So what if he comes back today? I'm sorry. He's what, what, what I'm is he? so sorry. Like I'm sorry that I will not accept him back. Okay. You yeah. Don't, you, but you loved him back then. No more. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I we're cordial. Okay. okay. We're civil. We have kids together. We yeah. have to raise the kids. <clears throat> That's all there is to it. Okay. Yeah. But he's actually there. He gives, you know, fatherly love to his children. Yes. He foots the bills. Yes. Very much. Ah, well, as much as he can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Okay, so Solange, let's come back to you. How do you brace through life? You know, knowing the society puts a lot of pressure on women. How do you brace through life? How do you, where do you get your strength? How do you go through all the hustles and the bustles as a single woman? It's grace, okay? It, it's, it's grace all together. Because how you wake up in the morning, alive, healthy, strong, you know, you jump out of bed, you don't have a stroke. All of that, after having go, gone through a bad, maybe a bad day, all of that is God's grace. Okay. Now, humanly speaking, you have to plan. Everybody should have a plan for their lives. Yes. How do you want to spend Tuesday, your Tuesday? Yeah. What will Wednesday look like? What are the so plans for and Thursday? So and then the next week and then the next month and then the next year, you must have time bound goals. goals. Very important. You must, you must plan. Okay. Otherwise, where are you heading to? Okay, so now, has it ever, have you ever come to a point in your life where you feel like you need a man, a husband, not just a man? In all honesty, Yes, so and yes, <laughs> how is that feeling? You know, how did you overcome it? You know, the feeling first um, easily goes away with the thought of the fact that um, it is valid, okay? Uh, it's not a form of weakness because it is in God's divine plan mm -hmm. for a woman to be a helpmate to a man. And so when you're not yet in that place, when you're not yet fulfilling that scripture, okay. there, is, um, there, there are a few lapses. You feel some emptiness sometimes. But how you go through it is having faith that the word is true. How did you go through it? Tell us how you went through it. You know, how did you overcome that feeling of you want to be a man, you want to get married, but you know, how did you go through it and finally you didn't end up getting married? First... It's my faith, okay? To be alone? My whole life. No, no. Not being alone. My whole life is centered around my faith. Okay. Okay? That's my driving force, first and foremost. I believe the word of God. I believe that it is true. If some, some parts of the scripture have not been fulfilled in my life, the time will come. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So when those moments, when those hard times come, I 
I just delve into the word. Okay. It's difficult. Yes. I'm not saying that it's magical. I'm right. not saying that it's a panacea. No, it is tough. That's the time when you need your kind of people. I, I talk to, I have friends like myself. We share, we share what we go through. We share our difficulties. So you guys so have we, like a single ladies club or Not something. that single, not that, that actually that single ladies, okay. but we are, I have many friends that are single ladies. We have married women amongst ourselves. And when we even, even when we share our desire of wanting to get married, they're sharing the desire of wanting to stay. Oh. You know? <laughs> so, so when some people want to get out of it, some want to get into it. That's it. My, my, my little girl is 15. She turned 15 this month. That's a lot. Um, my boy turns 14 in November. Okay. Yeah, so I know a thing or two about parenting. You started young. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so why have you kept them, you know? in the dark all these years. Why have you decided to open up about them in public now? Okay, uh, first, the life of an actor is um, is hectic, okay? You don't want to drag children who have their own career path, who have their own purpose to fulfill. You don't want to drag them into living your kind of life with you, okay? So for that, I kept them aside, okay? But the reason I'm bringing them on board now, and I'm not going to be, this does not mean I'm going to expose them to a lot of things, but well, the reason I'm talking about them now is because I founded an organization okay, okay, that caters to the needs of single mothers, uh -huh, um, empowering, um, giving hope, supporting single mothers. It's like a network, okay? Support, especially those in the rural areas. Okay. Remember that most of the people or most girls who are single moms today stumbled into the place. Yes. It was not a choice. Yeah. So, so awesome. there is very few in our yes. society. You have very few of them that made the conscious conscious choice of becoming single mothers. But you have lots of them that went in unconsciously. Okay, they need help. They need to know that they they belong to themselves. They need to know that uh, they need to know how they can take care of better take care of their kids. They need to know that they need to empower themselves, they need to be strong as people, okay. as individuals, before reaching out to their children, even mm -hmm. alone. Now, the social organization is a network that helps single moms. Yeah. It's not going to promote, you know, unwanted pregnancies. No, 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 at all. At all. I get a lot of people talking about that too. I shared it with one of my mentors, and that was the first question he brought up. And I am saying that while we're trying to cure the disease, we are also uh, applying preventive measures, okay? So in that light, we'll be going to schools, to the rural areas especially, to talk to young girls on how to lead to education, to share our experiences, how we stumbled into the place, or how we consciously got into the place, you know, and tell them, listen, you have to watch out here or there. Okay. So is, it, is this not another kind of feminist movement? Feminist movement? Call it whatever, no, but I'm you know, very you know, interested. We live in a society where people are very, very sensitive. That's right. Actually, to you know, relationship issues, where you bring women together in a place, a good thing. Oh, they are fighting against us, the men. <laughs> no, yeah. no, that's not my, that's not my focus. Okay, I am, I, I, I am, I stick to what I want to do. What do I want to do? What do we want to achieve as stronger single mothers? Those of us who are stronger than others, who are identified some, some that are weaker than us, what's our purpose? We want to get them on their feet. Okay. Our focus is not what the men think. Okay, we are not even giving it to that. Mm. We want to get ourselves. We want to be independent. We want to support ourselves. We want to reach out to our children. That most of these men don't care for. But do you realize that they are equally single dads that do? Women have abandoned their children with their parents. So, what happens to them? Now? What's our percentage, honey? What's what's the percentage of men compared to single men or single fathers compared to that of single mothers? Okay, and the question is, do they want to help themselves? Do they want to help? Do they do they want to accept help? Okay. Okay. Because I've spoken to some of them. It's true. I've come across a few who need help. Yes. Who accept that they need help? And they want to be able to become a part of your organization. They can be. 
So so and after all said and done, there are a lot of single people watching you and you are an inspiration to many people. You're on screen and looking at you. What is that word that you want to give to single people today? My my personal experience so far is that singlehood either brings you to a place where you feel alone, what I term aloneness, okay, or where you feel lonely, okay, loneliness now. Now you have to choose between being alone. Being alone gives you time to prepare, gives you time, like Reggie said earlier, to build yourself, to develop yourself until you meet the right person. Being lonely is that place where you are, you feel, um, you feel depressed, depressed, you want to pity yourself, you know, you feel like the whole world is on your shoulders simply because there's nobody in your life. So what should they do? At that point, I mean, I'm presenting the two, you pick the better, which is being alone, building on yourself. Okay, so it's a time to build, it's a time to enrich, it's a time to empower, it's a phase. Okay. It's going to be over. It is just a period. Make sure you make the most of it. Okay, thank you so much. You know, being alone, not dealing with anybody, not having somebody you have to be accountable to, gives you time to prepare yourself for that future partner. Thank you so much for following this edition of Renet A Show. You could actually contact us on the number you see on your screen. If you have any relationship issue, or you think that you have something about your life, your relationship with your spouse, your boyfriend, your fiance, your friend, your mother, your brother, even your boss or your neighbor. You know, you could contact us on the numbers on your screen or you could write us on our Facebook page and we can talk about your story and inspire somebody watching us on the screen. You can follow us on our Instagram, on our YouTube and on our Facebook, of course, equally on our online platform, www.drivertv.com. Thank you so much. Keep following me in Asia.